So New York has this arc. It starts to come back in the 1980s. It has crime rates that start slowly to fall. They have a giant financial services industry that's there in the 60s and 70s, but becomes vastly larger in the 80s, 90s, and, and aughts. What's your take on, on the city's comeback? How do you, how do you think about that? So. Well, it, it, you know, I, I think there are lots of ingredients that explain the city coming back. Um, the, as you mentioned, the financial uh, service industry becomes this giant, uh, became what manufacturing the garment mm -hmm. center once was mm -hmm. for New York, um, and, and created enormous wealth, which created enormous tax revenue, uh, which was essential. But as the city um, stabilized, people wanted to come here. Mm -hmm. uh, that was another factor in it. The real estate values soared, which is another factor, and also the re your, your tax base mm -hmm. then soars. Um, so a sense of optimism, if gloom was the pervasive feeling of the 70s, by the 80s uh, that had somewhat dissipated. Mm -hmm. But the, the city, you know, as often happens, it, you know, we went through a, a kind of feeling of renaissance and then a feeling of decline again, and now again a feeling of renaissance. Yeah. The police on the Bratton did a couple of really smart things. One is they started this, this uh, th they increased this focus on recidivists, on career criminals. We target them, we work, we, we, we work with the DAs, we put them away, we lower the crime rate because of it. Second, they, 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 they had this policy of, again, using data, of targeting where is the crime? Why is it going up? It starts that in the subways, right? It starts with these maps on the subways. And right? he was the subway, yeah. Bratton was the, was the head of subway cops, yeah. transit police. And then he goes to the, becomes the New York City Police Commissioner. So we have the same policy. Where are, the, where are the vulnerability parts? Where are we seeing a little surge in crime? Let's put more resources and cops there, target that. And as you reduce that crime, people feel more secure. They ride the subways at night where there are now cop police, transit police right. on the subways at night. So it just changes the whole ecology. It makes the of joys York. of the city usable as opposed right. to making them off, off limits. And then, of course, don't, don't forget Times Square. Mm -hmm. Everyone comes to Times Square, tourists and mm -hmm. city residents. I, I remember as a kid in Coney Island, we would say, well, let's take the subway to New York City. And where would Brooklyn, you get off? Brooklyn wasn't, you got off for 40 seconds. You got off right at Times Square. Yeah. And, and, and there, and, and if you got off in the, in the 70s and the 80s, I mean, you were getting off to, you know, Crime City. Yeah. And, and it was scary. Yeah. And, and that, you clean that up with the real estate community helping out. And that was a really big deal. Yeah. What's your impression on how did, did Bratton meaningfully reduce the tensions associated with stop and frisk? Do you think he actually healed, healed rifts with the community, or was, are those oh, rifts just uh, too hard? Well, the, there are rifts today, but of course, he and de Blasio, to his credit, yeah. healed many rifts. I mean, de Blasio won because he had a huge black voter support, right. and, and that made a huge difference for him. And, and so he's been very attuned to community relations, and, and I think that's the one area where he pushed Bratton to be more attuned to it. One of the, the conflicts is Bratton also believes in broken windows. Right. If you check 911 and 611 calls, they're coming from people in the community, and they're complaining that people are s sitting on my porch or sitting on my stoop or standing in my lobby or outside my building, in, you know, and they're drinking and they're smoking pot and they're playing loud music, and I'm frightened. Yeah. And so he's saying, we're responding to the community. And he was, but if you have a heavy police presence in those communities, it creates tension unavoidably. So it's not easy to, to harmonize those two disparate things.